Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. I'm the Mysterious JG, and the process has successfully completed for your information. Uh, last video we finished off the Gigantos and tried to get a reward for it and kind of got a bit of a runaround, to be honest with you. But that's okay, because we should probably be more concerned with saving the world than trying to get rewards for Gigantos killing anyway, since the Gigantos, as dangerous as they are, don't really mess with you unless you come mess with them. Well, kind of, other than, other than maybe that one that was sort of charging around outside died on hold, I'd say the Gigantos pretty much have an attitude of, you ain't want no, ain't start none, ain't gonna be none. <laughs> anyway, this is where we're meant to be for the plot, which we're going to continue right now. Wow, of all the scenes not to animate, this is the one? Is that it down there? I mean, not animate this, not voice act. Are there some cloud of dust? Are all those all monsters? This seems to be a counter effect of a star losing control. It's as if the monsters of the world all came and gathered here. Is Flynn really down there somewhere? Yes, he's one of the monsters. Yeah, probably. What next? Are we gonna fight every single one of them? Can we see a shot of this, like, impressive, monstrous cl cloud of monstrosity? I mean, you know, you're like a comp you can do a big, impressive cloud of monsters fairly easily, I'd say. It's all drawn, right? I mean, I don't know. Rita, can't we use that Dean Nomos you made? You gotta blow them away like doing it to the Atafagos? Right. Applying directivity, directivity to the power of the spirits and forming a barrier like force field to eliminate the monsters. Like putting too much air in a balloon. Yes, it should be possible. Well, but this was made to be used against the Atavagos, right? It's not going to run out of juice, is it? Well, this is our only option now. Could you let us use it? Please. I beg you to. The Dane Nomos. I want to believe it can save mankind. Uh, the real Dane Nomos is with Duke, and apparently he's using it to destroy mankind, but okay. You can believe whatever you want, Stealth. Yes, if we can, can't deal with this easily, there's no way we could stand up against the Autofagos. That's a good point, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Let's fall in love. It's rare to hear Yuri ask for a favor like that. I screw you, old man. It's a, our chance to do Yuri a favor! How do you mean, your chan- our chance? What are? Reed is the one who's doing it, buddy. Cut it out, kid. <laughs> that was zany. So you're gonna save the human race and then call on me to owe you a favor for it. Huh. So what's our plan? Activated in the area where the monsters are all concentrated. That's it. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. Still not get why there's apparently a crowd of unseen monsters that we need to fight, but whatever. Are they, are they meant to be like? Are they meant to be coming out of uh, the Tower of Power, or whatever horn section of evil? I mean, it's really not located near where we are now. But eh. I'm worrying too much about stuff that doesn't matter. A trade of people who get into JRPGs, but. Whatever. No kidding. It is a trait of people who are in a different place. Why don't we give it a name? I mean, now, why don't we give it a name? Oh, we can't just call it the Rita Dane Nomos. We have to call it, like, Super Awesome Action Bomb or something. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Don't leave it up to him. Um, mm, uh, I got it. How about the Vesperia number one? I should have known better. It's really not that bad a name for him. It's got a nice ring to it. Besides, it's nice and simple. Just like I like my women. Even Ba'ul will need to keep some distance. I'll land at a place. I'll land at a place? Okay, let's do it. Obtain Vesperia number one. Which I think will only be used during plot scenes, so I don't know why they bothered to point it out that we obtained it. It's not going into our inventory. Or anything. 
Hey, a unique sprite. What a mess. That chick's a mess. She's a hot mess. We're going in. We're out of way. Look over there. It's the bird of the plane. Ooh, some fancy bug hair. Flynn! Oh, attack it's Flynn. Hey, it looks like you could use some help, but I can't be bothered. We won't be surrounded if we move along the side of the cliff. That seems completely wrong. If you move along the side of a cliff, that's exactly what's going to happen to you. Because you'll be taking away one of the directions in which you can maneuver to avoid being surrounded. Am I crazy? Well, that might be a completely unrelated question. Let's go. Stay close. Stop them! Show them what an Imperial Knight can do! I can't be imagining things. I say we are done for! That's not what he asked you to... to this is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. It hurts to set you free, but you'll never follow me. The end of laughter and soft la You idiots! Stop your whining! Get wingers. My jobbers got beaten up! You alive? No, I'm zombie Flynn! Woo! Saving your ass. Thank your second in command for thinking of you. And for failing in her attempts to murder me earlier. Sodia? Huh. Oh, okay, well at least now we know that Sodia outranks the, the Applehead kid, which I think we can, but... but our current situation's bad. It's only a matter of time until we fall. So when he kills Yoder, will Sodia be uh, second in command of the Empire? Because, you know, I assume he's gonna kill Yoder, right? We have a little special something. We got a little something, something. What? 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 Light this thing up in the middle of the monsters. Then kiss your ass goodbye. And then watch it go boom. Hey, an IED. In the middle of the monsters, there are a lot to get through. Well, just uh, move to the edge of a cliff, and they'll surely surround us. Come on, it's us. This is nothing. Dude, we're so badass, it ain't even funny. Now, Flynn has an outfit that looks like it's meant to uh, hide his Blastia heart, but, uh, he seems to be one of the handful of characters who doesn't have one. It's ridiculous. Two characters in this entire game were revealed to have that trick. Hey, repeat, you, uh, you joining us too? Huh. All right, let's go. Big Zo, Mama, huh? Hey, we're gonna go turn this thing on. We've got, like, all the characters except for Pete and Rita have, uh, Super evil demon weapons, which does give them kind of a weird look keep here. Going here. Let's keep it going in here. Just you two? Are you stupid? Those are two completely separate questions. We cannot let our guard down here. No. If we can't defend this place, we lose the very reason for taking out the monsters. Well, I mean, I thought you wanted to impress the monsters, maybe have sex with them. So you know, you take them out for dinner, impress them. This isn't to defeat the monsters, this is to protect the people. Yeah, right, kid, you're so full of it. It's not even funny. That's right. Understood. Leave it to us. Besides, we have to have a glory shot of uh, Yuri and Flint with, I guess, a dog. Oh, a man Raven's gonna be on repeat's back for the remainder of this, like, crazy cinematic battle. Care, you two. Sure thing, lady. Parted with everyone. Partied with everyone. Let's go. Hey, it's like the original music for Battles is coming back. Old school. Flynn joined the party. Oh, wow. Flynn is actually in the party? Well, hold on one second here. Flynn is actually in the party. So, I'm not sure. I've said this before. I don't actually know how having Flynn as a full-time party member works in the uh, PS3 version of Tales of Vesperia, which was never localized uh, for the Western market. Because the story, unless there's major changes to the story, he won't be around uh, for most of what we're doing. Now, maybe, in fact, he is not available for all the story, but 
still, obviously, they have him set up as a playable character because, uh... I wonder, should I remove his stuff? Oh, it seems like kind of a dick move. Oh, uh, it won't let me. <laughs> they thought of that. Um, Arts, Demon Fang, Tiger Blade, Sonic Thrust, Beast, Sword Alpha, and First Aid. And these are not things that uh, I think I, I can use. And uh, he does not have a Mystic Art. At least uh, he does not have a Mystic Art that we get to use in this battle. Uh, let us, uh, attack. Now let us, uh, accidentally switch, uh, Yuri to auto and then wonder why we can't control him. Let's take over playing as Flynn. Because, in fact, we can. I'm controlling Flynn. Hey, don't go get yourself ripped apart. You'll get yourself killed if you keep watching me fight. <laughs> I know I'm sexy, but you gotta stop watching me. Shut up. Hey, this Fuck you! Time to get worked up. I am not worked up. It's Stop okay. liking me! Would you be serious for once? Would you be serious, Bobby? I can't concentrate with you talking all the time. Well, I can't talking concentrate without talking, so we're kind of stuck. Tough. Just crazy. Well, these enemies are not really all that challenging. I think this is basically one of those sequences that's just there to make you feel like a badass. Sometimes you feel like a badass. Sometimes you don't. Oh, and Joy's got badass. No, don't. Oh, there's enemies that we uh, could be scanning here for. Yeah. Aquasia. This might be the enemy that drops the item that we need for a stealth. Uh, super equipment, anyway. I think we're getting fatal strikes as uh, him. That would be kind of cool. And I'm completely lost track of what's going on because I forgot that I wasn't controlling Yuri for a second. As bizarre as that sounds, when it's like this big deal to play as Flynn. He's got other attacks, JJ. Mostly rip-offs of Yuri's attacks, but... You know what? Sonic Thrust is working. Wolf Sonic Thrust. Beast mode. I'm a torpedo. Beast, Sonic Thrust, Demon Fan. No, you don't. I can just kill everything ever with Sonic Thrust. We don't need you guys. I should have been sitting there getting help, I guess. I love the fact that as, uh, as Flynn, I am not allowing Yuri to use his own items. <laughs> Just in case this Wrath Nail turns out to be a big deal. Ow. Some folks call it a Kaiser Blade, I call it a Tiger Blade. No one else calls it. Pretty good, Commandant. You're not too bad either. Alexei, come on, Alexei. I got to use a uh, some fish with miso sauce. Look at how happy Flynn is. Oh, he's so happy. Repeat doesn't really look all that moved. But uh, yeah, we finished it with a fatal strike. Yuri failed to cook fish with miso sauce because he just started too much pressure to impress press Flynn. Impress Flynn. Leo Fang, okay. Tortoise stuff. Pitch black gank. Yurzo Crystal, Rhino Horn, Beast Skin. I didn't see the giant Ganic Shell or Big Shell or whatever it's called that I've been looking for, actually, so that's a shame. <laughs> Learned Heavy Hit. That's nice. Well done, Repeat. You're the true hero of that battle. 
or the true hero of that battle is the Raven doll on your back. I'm still up for some more fight. Let's beat each other up later. <laughs> you look like you're actually having fun in the middle of all this. I can tell because I'm not looking at you. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> Given to the passion you two make out, you know you want to. I gotta say though, uh, the like tension. They made a big deal out of Flynn before he first showed up. And uh, then there was this kind of big deal about the rivalry, and the storyline has kind of forgotten Flynn for a while. But he's coming back in a big way. No. Now, Yuri. Before we have to fight another, like, ooh, now there's two of those, like, sort of semi-boss creatures of the battle, uh, visible one way in the background there. Right. Like, hey, you were the one who had the plan. Why are you letting Flynn act like he's suddenly in charge? I guess he is, like, the new president of the Empire or whatever. So, why again was there this big crowd of monsters, and why are people not going to be completely murdered by this blast, too? Maybe a bunch of them were, but they got all the people they liked out of the blasted radius. Alright, thanks, lady. Now I'm gonna attack you because I'm actually evil. Okay for now. Uh, you know, my guard costume guys in this game tend to tend to be enemies. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so moved. I'm gonna walk away without another word. Don't push yourself, okay? Let me do that for you. Looks like that device worked. Thanks. The magical device. Good job, Rita. Don't mention it. Anyway, now we have no way to defeat the Autofago, so... There are more serious injuries than I thought. The world is full of serious injuries. It's great. Estelle has saved their lives, but they shouldn't move for a while. Even though that one just got up and walked away, so... Maybe he's got, like, the five steps before he just dies automatically, like, uh... Bill in Kill Bill Volume 2. I guess we have to stay and defend them for a little more. Yeah, sure. So why not just make this a fort? Um, I guess we're meant to know who you are. The uh, music suddenly got all crazy. Oh, hey! You're like the de facto head of the guild now, right? Or maybe she's not, but she will be by the end of this bit of plot. Yeah, Kaufman was, like, kind of important for a while and disappeared, and then... She was important during the portion of the game where we stalled out at, uh... Died on Hold, and then she became important... She gave us a boat and told us, no rush. You know, we were giving you a boat in exchange for you delivering something. But hey, don't rush. It was kind of a little too good to be true in that RPG logic kind of way. But she was kind of... I liked her as a character. She was sort of like, no-nonsense, lady boss of a uh, guild. I guess the mercenaries I hired weren't sufficient. Sorry for the trouble. Yeah, your mercenaries kind of sucked. No. I'm sure the they guilds are in chaos right now too. Thank you for your help. Big man. It won't really make up for things, but I'll help with the defense. What do you mean it won't make up for things? Are you are you responsible for the fact that hordes of monsters attack? You're going to fight? Well, not personally. <laughs> oh no, I'm a merchant. Just watch. I'm going to sell things to the monsters, and they're so overpriced, the monsters will go broke. Oh, sadly, so was Yuri. Witcher. Is something wrong? I just noticed that the head of the Merchant Guild, and I honestly don't know that I'd noticed this before, kind of needs to button up. Yes, that tower near Ospio has created an unusual formula around itself. It's a quadratic equation that I just can't solve. Judging by the crests, it's absorbing some kind of power. It's probably like people power. I think, uh, I think it's got the crest of, um... No, I'm blanking out the guy's name. It's going to make a silly wrestling reference that no one would have gotten anyway. But, um... Johnny Ace. Uh, what was his actual... Johnny... Can't for the life of me remember what his name was. Like the, He's far more famous among American wrestling fans as uh, his like post-wrestling career evil heel authority figure name. And I can't remember that. I just want to call him Johnny Ace. In addition, all residents throughout Alikia have reported feeling strange. Like they've been hit with the Ace Crusher. All residents throughout Alikia have reported feeling strange. Okay. Like no one has failed to report in. Absorbing. Feeling strange. Is it absorbing human life? 
It's got the dark power of Absorbian Jr. Duke. Guy's kind of a jerk, as it turns out. He's absorbing human life. Maybe he's going to use that to kill the Autophagos. Life is very pure mana. Does he intend to use it to attack? That son of a bitch going around draining the life force out of humans without their permission? Wait, we did exactly that to the Antelikea. Well, then there were fewer of them, though, so it was okay. This is what he meant by exchanging all human life to destroy the Autophagos. Yeah, actually, it kind of makes sense now. But honestly, didn't we basically exterminate the Antelikea except for Ba'ul, I suppose? Yeah, I think we pretty much wiped out their race. The formula is expanding in stages. Now, in fairness, the Antelikea appear to have about six remaining members, but... At this rate, it could affect the entire world. Yeah, I think that's where the plot's going, little buddy. No! Um, yes? We can't just stand around. Well, I mean, we can. It's... Possible. But the spirit's power alone won't be enough. We'll need to also get some beer, not just, you know, and wines, not just spirits. What? But it took out all those monsters. Those weren't an autophagos, dumb fuck. Judging Sorry. by the size of the autophagos, we'd need several hundred times the power. Okay, well, let's go kill several hundred times the Antelikea. Several hundred? That's gonna be tough. There aren't enough Antelikea left for that. I guess we have no choice but to change the cores to spirits. Is that gonna help? Yeah, no, I guess that's the plot now. We're getting rid of the the uh, aeon the aeons to uh, destroy sin or something. Wait, could you explain what you're talking about? Wait, he sounded so like purposeful and knowledgeable, and then he's like, "Can you explain what you're talking about?" <laughs> Could have lost her. Oh yeah, we meant to talk to you all about it, but we decided to. Uh, I have no business knowing. Hey Flynn, we want to tell Yoder and the guilds too. These guys are like the uh, federal government. They're like, you don't need to know what we're doing to protect you. But I guess they're not because they are going to tell them. Can you call them here? You got your cell phone? <laughs> I've long since killed them. I'm the true villain. And he twirls his cape and like reveals he's got evil, scary, beach ball, magic power like the trap to stall before. And yeah, never mind. Oh, Yuri. You seriously want him to call the Emperor to a place like this? What's the problem with this place? Are there poor people around to get underfoot? You never change. Never change. What? 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 <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. Better look as it's you, Yuri. In exchange... You all go talk to the people of the Union in Palastrale. Oh, I guess that's the next plot excuse for us to go wander around and have more cinema scenes instead of dealing with the problem. Okay. Whatever. So I guess we're off to Dongrest and Nordopolica? I guess. Yeah. Mind giving us a ride? I don't see how I can give you a ride, but I guess Baul might. Reunited with everyone, but lost Flynn. Yeah, so sad. No, the sound is synced up properly. I just uh, foresaw us losing Flynn. Let's check how much time we got left in this video before we get into more chit-chat with plot characters. And, uh... Yeah, we got enough time for another couple of chit-chats with plot characters. So we're gonna fight. Gone as soon as he can. Oh, here's here's Draki. Bye, Schmexy. I still think Yuri is Schmexier. But you sure were good yaoi fodder on the cover. No, I'm not a yaoi fangirl. Thank you, uh, Draki, for that uh, aside. And then there's another aside, which maybe the person who isn't Draki. Like, there's two people involved in this back. I'm wondering sometimes what's Draki and what's not. Save for leaving, because that point is forever gone after fetching. Leave for a scene. What? Oh, I guess there's some kind of reward you get for using all the save points in the game, so they're warning you that to do this one now. Um, but I guess we gotta talk to people, right? I suppose we don't have to. Do -do 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 -do. What up, guys? 
Yuri, throw me the rope. No, LeBlanc, throw me the idol. Come on, let's go. Chris came back from orders to protect Zafios. We can't just leave the capital like that. We did our best. Blah, blah, blah. Nice to be thought of as important, but this guy is so serious it's scary. What? No matter what, I'm going to protect her. That's what this experience made me decide. Yeah, girls sure do hate it when handsome, well-dressed men become devoted to them. I guess you might be doing it in a creepy way and it's just not coming across. So, Sodia, want to murder me again, or...? Let's get them all turned in different directions so they're not talking to each other. Was that tower built by the Vedas in Ospio? Rita, don't hide it anymore. Just toss everything. Rita doesn't know. I don't know what you know or what you're thinking about right now, but I'm sure His Highness would agree to that too. Yeah, he would definitely agree that I don't that he doesn't know what I'm doing. Okay, so it turns out it's not important to talk to Flynn or the gang. I'm kind of wondering why this whole sequence is even here. Uh, you know, I do all this stuff to try to give me a completionist to get all the scenes, but I'm not going to talk to all these people. You, I recognize. I took this job thinking I could make some quick cash. What have I got myself into? I don't think I'm cut out for this job. You mean standing around near this lady? Now it's time for me to show you what I can do. Next time you're back, this town is going to be transformed. Into Bruticus. I'm not going to lose to those knights. I'll show you what a skillsman can do. I'll cut these monsters up to pieces with the sword. I'll show you how to protect civilians. I thought it was going to be like the big, tough, mute, armored dude from uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but no. I wonder how long we'll be here. Regardless, we urgently need to make temporary living arrangements. So you guys are just going to hang around in this uh, Hyponian Peninsula? Aw, cute little girl. Hey, mister, when do we get to go home? Hey, wait a second, Chester. There's no barrier, bless you. All right, this is where we Imperial Knights show what we can do. So relax, leave it to us. And I can't talk to that dog. Though apparently talking to a dog in this town... Oh, I gave it away. They're going to turn this into a town. That's what uh, the head of the uh, Merchant's Guild is talking about. But yeah, that is... Um, is a dog or a cat or some animal in, in the town that they're going to build here. We have a scene uh, at the end of the dog pee quest. Everyone has just barely managed to escape their lives. We knights must protect those who have escaped with us. We must protect this house. Is that guard supposed to look like determined and focused or scared? So we should ensure the safety of citizenry. We will not allow even one single person to come to danger. Yuri... I didn't really ever bother to give her a voice, did I? Didn't think she was going to be that important as far as murdering Yuri goes. Thank you for, um, saving Flynn. Da da da. You guys go ahead first. I'll catch up. I can't convince Yuri... Uh, Yuri I can't convince Estelle or Judith to get freaky with me. And Rita seems a little young, so I guess I'll take any port in store. She's showing, some, showing a little thigh under that skirt, too. Oh, she's so sad. So sad that she tried to murder Yuri. I'm not going to tell anyone. I'll kill you myself, but I'll leave your name unstained. You will die nameful. Why? Because I can understand why you tried to kill me back there. I'm kind of an asshole. There's something you just want to protect, even if it means dirty your own head. You lose your senses in the heat of the moment and find yourself doing things you'd never imagine, like murdering the protagonist. Dot, dot, dot. I know what I have done is unforgivable. It would have been easier if you'd blame me for this. Don't flatter yourself. Don't think I'm here doing this for your own good. I'm not going to put the blame on you just so you can ease your conscience. W what Ellipsis? Should I do Ellipsis? I don't know. You want to be my personal slave or something? You'll be my butler. <laughs> You're sentenced to be my butler. I have no intention of lecturing you about rights and wrongs. Go figure it out yourself. Da, da, da. If you can't, go ask someone you can talk to about this. But not me. I'm way too big of a douchebag to help you with your problems. 
Remember? My douchebaggery is why you tried to kill me in the first place. As Flynn's friend, I'm grateful for the loyalty you've shown towards him. Also, he really needs a chick. Uh... Sodia and Yuri Yuri's sitting in a tree. Young Sodia, is he? Old Sodia, he loves. Everything about her feels hard as a rock. Ooh. That's not exactly easy to like. Ah, uh, cut her some slack. Knights are all a little square. She has a stubborn nature that's a little square. Folks like you and Yuri don't. And that's a good thing. Stubborn is good? You totally lost me there. I figured I would. That's why we can't talk without getting on each other's nerves. I'm surprised that Rita didn't snap over the fact that he he basically said she's very different from you and that's good oh, well. anyway call on a video folks when we come back um, I do not think we've yet gotten to the point where we're back to doing silly side quests I think we're still on the main story so let's keep going with that bye bye for now folks